I was watching this Terence Howard on Joe Rogan, and I wanted to make this video because I found some stuff that I don't agree with him on. Because he says basically there is no such thing as straight lines, and I would say the complete opposite. The, this whole reality is based off of straight lines, and there is no such thing as a curve, even. So I'm gonna display those things or try to display it in this video. But let's listen to, to this right here. But it'll show you the flower of life that they took this from. But you'll see that instead of following the natural curvature of these 64 circles overlapping, they averaged the space where they, where they met and they invented straight lines. Mm. They in, Why did they do that? because they believed that the world was flat. They believed the world was flat at the time. So he's ridiculing flat earth, which I do believe it is. It is a flat earth. This is a virtual reality. And, and in that case, they were not wrong. If the earth is flat, they were not wrong. So I'm gonna go over some stuff here, explaining why I think the earth is flat, why I think this reality is a virtual reality. But he is displaying here, the flower of life. And what I noticed regarding that symbol is this. It sounds good, flower of life, right? But I saw something in the flower of life. Guess what it is? The eye. The eye. Okay, maybe you don't see the eye, but I'm gonna show you that this is full of eyes. What this really is, is a bunch of eyes. That's all it is. You're like, what do you mean? It doesn't look like eyes. Let me show you how it is eyes, okay? You see this? That's one eye right there, right? Okay, you're like, okay, one eye, right? One eye, 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 right? So basically one eye here. No, 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 it's even more eyes. Do it like this, right? Do it like that. What do you get? What do you get? Oh, another eye, right? In that angle. Okay, flip it again. Oh, we got a one eye again, right? Back to the original one eye, right there. Flip it again, hold on. Flip it again. Oh, we even got one eye here too. One eye, 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 one eye. So either way you go, you're gonna find an eye. One eye, one eye, one eye, you see? So, but he says it's, it's a flower. And yeah, you can see it as a flower, but you can also see it as eyes right so going back to what i'm saying about everything is made out of uh, straight lines you would have to see it like this now there is no such thing as a circle because what a circle really is is a straight line that is drawn from a center to different angles that creates a circle but this video will show you that a circle is a rectangle. We'll draw a circle and fill in its area. Next, we will divide it into large equal parts and arrange them in a rectangular formation. As you can see, it barely resembles a rectangle. So next, we will divide the circle into small equal pieces and we will arrange them in the same manner. You can see that it appears more like a rectangle. So if we divide the circle into even more smaller pieces, you can see that every time the shape becomes more like a rectangle. So how small must we divide a circle before we can get a perfect rectangle? Well we can keep on dividing the circle into small, smaller, or the smallest pieces you can make. But the answer is to divide the circle infinitely many times until we cannot distinguish the lines and eventually the circle can now become a perfect rectangle. So, the area of the circle is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is equal to base times height. The height of the rectangle, as you can see, is the same as the radius. So, height is equal to radius. To find the base, we need to look at the circumference of the circle. And when we compare the base and the circumference, we can see that the base is equal to one half the circumference.
So basically, there is no such thing as a curve. It's all an illusion in this virtual reality. So now going back to Terence Howard, he says uh, they were stupid for thinking, you know, thinking in straight lines. This whole reality is based off of that. Because a straight line is point A to B, and there's a bunch of squares in between that makes up the straight line. But as we just saw with the circle, a circle is really a rectangle, you know, but in a different uh, way. The only reason we don't see squares is because resolution. So you can see here, this is really low resolution. So if we made the circle, in this resolution, you would be able to see the squares. So the better the resolution, the less of these squares or jagged jaggedness you will see. So this is way better resolution. Therefore, you don't see the squares. But if you were to zoom that in more and more and more, eventually you will start to see squares again. Eventually you will start to see squares again. So everything is really all about resolution. Going back to resolution, here you see this woman looks like a human, right? But this is all because of the resolution. Because if you go back and take down the resolution, she will look like this. What the? And that is all a bunch of squares. You see, this whole reality is built off of squares. And squares are four straight lines, okay? Pixels on a screen is all we are, really. But it, we are in a very high resolution simulation that we call life. But here you can you can kind of see actually have a specific those small rectangles going back to rectangles. Size. They're just individual. You see there. Individual so if you go go close to your TV screen, you will see those things. Or if you can zoom in. And you wouldn't think that this lady that looks human in this footage is built off of those rectangles, squares, double squares. A, a rectangle is two squares, right? So I claim everything in this reality is based off of 2D or two things. So what is the difference between 2D and 3D? If you look at this picture right here, one of them looks 3D and one of them looks 2D. But in reality, both of them are 2D. The only difference is this one right here got shades and stuff on it. And this one does not. Like here's an example of that. This is a circle. And now it's a sphere. The only thing is a little bit of shade is added to it. Now, when you watch this, you think this is a 3D environment, which it is, but it's all 2D. This is as much of a 2D as old Super Mario Bros on Nintendo 8-bit. Like this. What we just saw with GTA, there is really not, if you go to the core of it, the foundation of both of them are 2D. But the only thing is, there is another axis added, which is also based off of the two things. Because this is left, right, up, down, 2D, right? But those axes, left and right, is two, up and down is two, right? And in this, there is an additional axis of in and out, creating depth. Still based off of two, though. And this right here is still flat, meaning it's on a flat screen and it's impossible that there actually is any space in this supposed world. But it gives a great illusion that there is space. So now I'm claiming the same with our reality, meaning what you think is 3D is really just 2D, similar to this, what we're seeing right here, but giving you the illusion of 3D. One indication of our reality being a virtual reality is look at where graphics are at. 
Now this is real, real time video game graphics. But you could have thought that this is real life. So by being able to mimic real life in a computer, to me, indicates that our reality is a virtual one as well. Now, if you put if you put on a virtual reality headset, if you put if you tried one of the virtual reality headsets, you, your brain will actually believe that it entered another realm, which as well for me indicates that our reality is a virtual reality. So when he says this, and they invented straight lines. I call absolute BS. There is no such thing as inventing straight lines. This whole reality is based off straight lines, and this whole reality is 2D, and that is also why I believe this is a flat Earth. This is a flat plane Earth that this whole virtual reality is based on. And all video games base their virtual world on a flat plane. So another thing that also confirms what well, we just saw with the circle being a rectangle. If you look into the golden ratio, which is apparently in everything almost in our reality, it turns into a rectangle. And I'm going to show you that. So what, a, what the golden ratio is, is it starts off with zero and adds one. And zero is really just a symbol for eternal, infinite. So it adds one. Then that one adds another one to itself, becomes two. Then that two adds the previous one, becomes three. And on and on it goes. This three adds this two, becomes five. This five adds this three, becomes eight. On and on it goes. And many people claim that this is proof of a creator because the way this goes is not random. Some intelligent being ha has decided that this is how it should go. Instead of 13 minus 4 plus nine minus two, you know, it's not random. Something has decided that this is how it's uh, gonna be. So in a visual form, this mathematical equation thing creates a rectangle. Look. Where's? So here, pausing here for a second. This is the first one. Add, adding the second one to create this bigger square, which is four squares to create a bigger rectangle. Okay. So we got a rectangle here. And when these two add each other, they create this second big square that will then become a bigger rectangle and then on and on that will go. Inside there, there will be this kind of a circular thing going on. But you can't have anything circular without the frame. Okay? There has to be a frame around a circle. And it, to me, that, that says it all. Everything is inside of a rectangle and everything is made out of a of straight lines, even curves, even curves are made out of straight lines or squares. If you zoom in uh, a lot, you know what I mean? 
So basically, we're all made out of pixels. As you can see here, low resolution face, high resolution face. And squares are straight lines. So I don't know what this guy is talking about, ridiculing that people thought everything was made out of straight lines because it it actually is all of it. And if you have if you have something to push back on, I would love to hear. It. If I'm wrong in this, I would love to hear how I'm wrong. Uh, so put it in the comment section if you can dispute this claim that everything is made out of lines and squares.